What's up guys? Just got back home from ISS Fort Worth show. Really late here. Don't want to open the garage yet to wake Lorene and the kids up. But I got to get this vlog in and this is vlog number 81. Alright, so in today's vlog I had a question at the trade show. And the question was, hey Matt, I know you do a lot of these decal fundraisers and you did a vlog on it just the other day. But what do you do when you go and you talk to someone and you talk to a school, you talk to a principal, you talk to an athletic director, PTO, whoever it is, and they say no? And that's a great question because you're going to get a lot of no's over time. All right. So here's what I did when I got a no. First thing I would do is I would try and set up a relationship with the principal. And if the principal said no, then I would go to, I'm taking into account a high school here. I would go to the athletic director. If the athletic director said no, I might go to the band director. If they say no, I might go to the cheer coach. Cheer coach says no, I move to the football coach, the basketball coach, the soccer coach, the baseball coach. And I would keep going down the line until I would find someone that would run the decal fundraiser. And what had happened a few times when I did that is I eventually found somebody that wanted to do the fundraiser. And what was really cool about that is when they did decide to do the fundraiser, they actually, it was pretty profitable for them. So when it was profitable for them, then guess who wanted to do a fundraiser the next year, right? The other sports or the principal or the PTO or whoever it was. So the biggest thing is just don't accept no for an answer. You're going to get a lot of no's. I understand that. But just keep moving through the school and see what you can do with it. And eventually you might get someone to say yes. Now, believe me, I've been to schools where I kept getting no's and that's all I got was no's. And that's okay. I just move on to the next school. I went to every school around our district, the districts close to us. And I was making hour, two hour drives to schools just to present them with fundraisers to try and grow the business. So just know that you're going to get a lot of no's and eventually you will get those yeses and that's what's going to grow your business. So you need to be able to accept that kind of failure of people saying no to you. But every time one person said no, that meant I had to ask another 10 people and I would eventually get a yes. So as you can tell, my voice is gone from all of the three days of trade show and the classes and the seminars and the workshop and the in-booth demos and everything. Same thing every show. I, I talk the entire show. You normally have to talk pretty loud for everybody to hear and I lose my voice every show. So always have this voice for a few days after, which is all good. Well, I need to open the garage now and then you can see I'm waiting outside the front of the house so I don't wake everybody up because I know the dogs are going to bark. Lacey and Wrigley and Bling are going to be excited. The kids will probably end up waking up and um, then I can't do the vlog when I get inside, but I had to get it done. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for all of you that came by Fort Worth to the ISS Fort Worth show. It was great seeing all of you and of course... Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel right there. Check out all the vlogs up there. And check out the website, therhinestoneworld.com, for all of your business supplies right on over here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Later.